Game two of the NBA Finals is here. The Hornets up against the Timberwolves. Game one was a blowout in favor of the Charlotte Hornets. The Timberwolves looking to answer back here, trying to get closer to their first win in NBA Finals history. They have never been. Neither of these teams have been in the NBA Finals in real life. The Hornets, we have been in the NBA Finals last year in this 2K world. But neither of these teams have won an NBA championship. So one streak is going to end at the end of this series. First to four is the way it is. It's not first to one, not first to two or three. You got to win four games. And some may think this might be a sweep after game one. But I have a feeling the Timberwolves have some left in the tank. Anthony Edwards ain't just going to curl down into a ball. I feel like the Timberwolves are going to be a, a good fight. But I do think we are the favorites and we should be favorited to win this series. I don't think your starting center can be Andre Drummond in the year. We're in the year of like 2025, 2026 currently. So Andre Drummond cannot be your starting center in that year and you win an NBA championship. You might be able to get there, but you ain't gonna you ain't gonna win it. As Anthony Edwards kicks it to Marvin Bagley, who is now getting the star. I don't know who he started over, but I remember he was off the bench last game. Oh, on the fast break, we got the steal. Dyson Daniels is not gonna keep up. And Cedric Lewis is gonna get his second bucket. Struggling so far are Cedric and the Hornets. Timberwolves, though. Hornets going on a little bit of a run. Was, the score was 8-2. to two. It is now 8-6 to six as Edwards misses his second shot of the night. He has been defended well behind the back. Straight to the lane. Cedric has scored three straight buckets. You can see his playoff stats down at the bottom of the screen. They are absolutely absurd. Oh, I got subbed out. Tie game at 17 apiece. And the Timberwolves are going to have the lead up by three. Start of the second quarter. 11 points currently. For Cedric Lewis. Uh, tough first half, I mean first quarter for the Hornets as Nick Richards is going to start us off with what should have been an and one. Cedric Lewis on the screen, pull up three, it's a good release and it drops. Lewis knocks down another one and ties it back up at 35 apiece. Been a very, very competitive game so far here in game two, which is what everyone wants. Mikey Williams sizing up Lamella Ball, cuts to the paint, drives, it's off. And Nick Richards grabs the rebound on the break. Cedric Lewis, head full of steam, going right at Anthony Edwards. It's off, but the Hornets get the offensive rebound. Reset, reset. Uh, I guess, okay, Nick Richards comes at the screen. Pull up three. Good release. Oh, how does that miss? Nick Richards is going to get fouled, though. I don't know how that three missed. It has really been just a bad offensive game. For both teams, LaMelo Ball does not end the cold streak. Just brick after brick from both sides here. The Hornets and, and that's a block, and the Timberwolves. Neither side seems to be able to get a bucket so far in this quarter. It has been back and forth, two-point game. Andre Drummond with the inbound, kicks it to Jaden McDaniels to bring it back out. Anthony Edwards kicks it to Dyson Daniels. Andre Drummond coming to set the screen. Dyson Daniels kicks it back to Drummond. Aiton in the paint. Can you hold your own? Can you stop Andre Drummond? Andre Drummond stuck, picks up his dribble. He's going to miss. Aiton with the board. Can we end the drought? The cold streak and Nick Richards is going to tie the game right back up. The Timberwolves are not missing right now and they are hitting a ton of threes so far good screen from Lewis and it leads to a LaMelo ball dunk the Timberwolves are just holding on to that one point lead with dear life right now they are not letting it go Jalen Suggs nice fade from Marvin Bagley he gets the ball at the top of the key now in on him it looks like he's going to take most of the shot clock away Jalen Suggs now only got five seconds to work with. Gets the screen. Gets a decent look. It's off, though. We have two and a half minutes. We can finally take the lead right back. We're going to call for a Sabonis screen. See if I can get open for three. And it was contested. But Sabonis gets the offensive board and gives us the lead. One point lead for the Hornets. 15 seconds left in this first half. Timberwolves once again have that one point lead. 
And I have uh, Mr. What's his name? Herb Jones. Um, oh, my God. I whiffed the three. Awesome. We're going to go into the half. Down by one in the NBA Finals. In the corner. Oh, Anthony Edwards got there. They are just smothering us on the defensive end. As you can see, I can't even get many shots off as they're going to the free throw line. The Timberwolves, man, they are giving us one hell of a fight here in game two. My ga I just I can't get open from the perimeter. I can't really drive in the paint too often. I, everyone just on this Hornets team right now is just discombobulated. It's not... It's not going well um, as we are currently down by eight points. Like, look, why is LaMelo on the same side of the court as me as I finally get a shot to drop? All right, I'm getting subbed out. Down by four currently. Let's see what our bench are going to do. They've been very positive my whole career here, and we're down by ten. Whoop. Um, so much for me saying that. Let's see if I can drop three in while I have my takeover. Uh, I hope that ain't happening. Uh, Nick Richards is going to the line. We've cut the lead all the way to four right now. We have a 41 second quarter. So I can't speak. 41 seconds left in the quarter as Anthony Edwards is going to miss that shot. We, have, we can go for a two for one opportunity here and that's my plan. Going right to the rack. Dunking it over Marvin Bagley. Two for one opportunity. If we can get a stop here, we can possibly tie it after coming into this quarter. Two minutes left down by 10 we can go on our own 10-0 run as that i mean we can go on a 10-2 run now at least as uh, marvin bagley gets that law 15 seconds left here in this quarter i have herb jones on me which sucks dude because herb jones is in it one of the best defenders in the league as ayton you have the mismatch you have mcdaniels on you he gets fouled and he's going to the line four seconds left in this third quarter deandre in with the first it's good he's got nine points so far in this game can he get his 10th he does two point game four seconds left in this quarter they are most likely going to just launch it get that out of here that looked on target too 90 to 88 score heading into the fourth currently we have a tie game here in game two of the nba finals mikey williams brings you out the court no anthony edwards here so far seven minutes left in this fourth quarter i'm assuming he'll be back in around the five to four minute mark especially if it stays close. But it's our opportunity as LaMelo gets a block to try and pull away with this game. I try to do a spin move. Marvin Bagley's all over me. I got to go up with it now. I've been in the paint for too long. And I get it to go over Marvin Bagley. 39 for Lewis. 16 of 30. 30 attempts for 39 points. It's bad. But I did start off the game super duper slow. Yes, I just said super duper. Jalen Suggs. Now cutting to the paint. Then LaMelo gets a steal. The Hornets are going nuts right now in this fourth quarter. Isaiah Joe, can you get to your corner, please, so I can run this play? Marvin Bagley is just sitting, waiting. And Sabonis is going to get the mismatch. We go up by four. What a turnaround. We are currently on a 20-6 run ever since I have came back in the game with two minutes left in that third quarter and they're going to turn the ball over for a third straight possession we're running mike conley at the small forward right now why if he cut to the basket instead of just standing there he would have had an open layup but why are we running mike conley at the small forward right now it, is, is there an actual reason for this two minutes left up by two he launches the three drumming gets the offensive board mikey williams kicks it out Edwards in the corner. It's off. Drummond nearly gets another offensive board. What effort from Andre Drummond there. All right, we got a mismatch somewhere. It's um with uh, Sabonis. Sabonis has the mismatch with Mikey Williams. on. Okay, and we just said screw it. We're not going to run the play I called. Um, can't, can't, okay, now, now you guys just ruined that whole possession. I got to go straight to the rack. I don't draw a foul, and I still... Get the layup to go. Cedric Lewis with 43 now on the game. Extends the lead to four. A minute and a half left. Edwards takes the mid-range, and it's good. Cuts the lead back to two. 50 seconds left. Only up by two. I'm trying to run out as much time as possible. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Cedric Lewis 
post fade. Drummond's all over it. It's off, but Nick Richards on the boards. He gets two offensive rebounds. We have 10 seconds left. And Cedric's going to go right to the rack. Layup, it's good. Cedric Lewis with the layup after two offensive boards by Nick Richards. 28 seconds left. The Timberwolves are going to call a timeout. What a possession by the Charlotte Hornets. Nick Richards with the two rebounds of his career probably to try and have the team go up 2-0. Anthony Edwards is going to try and be aggressive to score here. He's going to go up. It's way off. Sabonis with the board. And they're going to have to foul. 18 seconds left. I'm assuming they're going to be fouling. I'm going to let LaMelo Ball take it if he can get open. Uh, he's not going to get open, so I'm just going to have it give it to me. And it's going to be the foul game. Nine seconds left. The up now by eight points. What a collapse by the Minnesota Timberwolves. Had a 10-point lead at one point. Had the lead for most of the game. But the Charlotte Hornets are going to take a 2-0 series lead here in the NBA Finals. Taking both games at home despite a massive Timberwolves effort. The series now will shift to Minnesota where the Timberwolves were trying to fend home court. What a great game. That game was amazing. I started off slow as the team ended up clawing back, had an amazing end of the third and start to the fourth quarter. Cedric had 49 points, six rebounds, nine assists, had three blocks on the game, shot 19 of 35, five of her 13 of three, six of six from the line. LaMelo Ball had 17 points, six assists and three steals on good shooting. Did not shoot well from downtown. And Nick Richards, bro, 12 and 12 off the bench. And two of those four offensive rebounds were probably the biggest of the game because those two offensive rebounds ended up getting us the four-point lead that eventually ended up sealing the game. Aiton only had 10 points. He had six rebounds, though. So bonus had nine points, but he had 12 rebounds. Also, Isaiah Joe had nine off the bench, and Aragorn had eight, five, and five. That's all I ask. That's all I ask of my team. For the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards, 28 points, shot horrific from the field. That's what's going to happen when I'm guarding you. You can score as many points as you want. You ain't going to score them efficiently. Uh, Michael Williams actually had a pretty good game. 19 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, but clearly not enough. Marvin Bagley also had a really good game. 16 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. 3 rebounds from his starting power forward, backup center. It's not good enough. But, I mean, he tried his best. And Jalen Suggs, 12-8 and eight off the bench. Just not enough from their supporting cast. Herb Jones went 2-8. of eight. Dyson, Daniels, Dyson Daniels only took 2 shots. Drummond had 11 boards. He had how many offensive? Only 2 offensive rebounds. But he gave up. Four alone to Nick Richards. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.